Hello, fairy tale writers. This week, you're going to start writing your own fairy tale. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Little Red Riding Hood, and I'm going to tell it in two different ways. I'm going to tell it in version one or version two. And I want you to listen to both of them and decide which one you like better, which one you think was the better story. All right, you ready? Here's version one. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. Her mother gave her a basket of goodies to give to her grandmother, who was sick. Grandma went, uh, I'm sorry, Little Red Riding Hood went on her way through the forest and a wolf came over and asked where she was going. And Little Red Riding Hood said she was going to her grandma's house. So the wolf cr uh, ran as fast as he could to grandma's house and he swallowed up grandma whole and then put on her clothes and got into bed. Then Little Red Riding Hood came to Grandma's house and when she came in, she could see that it did not look like her grandma and it was in fact the wolf. And the wolf sprang up and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood. And then a hunter was passing by and heard the snores and came in and saved them both. That's version one. Here's version two. Once upon a time, in a little cottage at the end of a forest, lived a little girl who loved to wear a red cape with a hood, and she wore it so often that everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother called, Little Red Riding Hood! And Little Red Riding Hood said, Yes, Mama! Her mother said, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandmother is feeling very poorly. I want you to bring this basket of goodies to her so that she will feel better. All right, Mama, Little Red Riding Hood said, but her mother warned, be careful, Little Red Riding Hood. Don't stop on the way and don't talk to strangers. Yes, Mama, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she grabbed the basket and skipped out of the door. Well, as she was walking down the path, she had to go through a deep, dark forest. And in that deep, dark forest, there lived a big, bad wolf who saw this tasty morsel walking by. And he lurked over and came across the little girl and said in his big, deep, wolfy voice, where are you going, little girl? And Little Red Riding Hood replied, I'm going to see my grandmother. She's feeling poorly, and Mama told me to bring her this basket of goodies. The wolf thought to himself, hmm. This little girl and the grandma could make a tasty treat. And he thought of a plan. Why, Little Red Riding Hood, he smiled. Why don't you stop and pick some flowers for your grandma? I'm sure that she would like it. Little Red Riding Hood smiled and said, okay. And she stopped and started picking flowers for her grandma. Well, then the wolf lickety split ran as fast as he could to grandma's house. And he knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Grandma answered, Who is it? And he dis disguised his voice and he said, uh, It was I, your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, Grandma called. But as soon as the wolf came in, Grandma could see that it was not Little Red Riding Hood because the wolf opened up his giant jaws and <coughs> snap, swallowed Grandma whole. Then he put on her nightcap and nightgown ducked under the covers and pulled them up to his whiskery chin and waited for Little Red Riding Hood. Not too long later, Little Red Riding Hood came to Grandma's house and knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Now the wolf tried to sound like Grandma and disguised his voice. Oh, who is it? Little Red Riding Hood said, it is I, your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. I have brought you a basket of goodies to help you feel better. Oh, come in, he called. But when Little Red Riding Hood came in, she could see that something was not right. She said, why, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. And the wolf replied, the better to see you with, my dear. And then Little Red Riding Hood said, why, Grandmother, what big ears you have. And the wolf replied, uh, the better to hear you with, my dear. And then Little Red Riding Hood said, 
Why, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. The wolf jumped out of bed and said, The better to eat you with, my dear. And he chased her, and he opened his big giant jaws and snap. He swallowed Little Red Riding Hood whole, too. And then, with his belly full, full, full of his big, big lunch, he fell asleep and started snoring as loud as a chainsaw. A hunter came by and heard a noise, and he thought to himself, that doesn't sound like Granny. And he came in to see the wolf. With one cut, he was able to free Grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood, and they were safe, and they were sound, and they lived happily ever after. Now, which one did you like better? Version one or version two? You can hold up your fingers if you want, one or two. Did you choose version two? Yeah, yeah, because Version one, I was just retelling the story. That's what you do when you're telling somebody the facts of something. This happened, then this happened, then this happened, then this. But the second one, I was storytelling. And when you're storytelling, you add in all the things that we do as writers. You spice it up with details. You make the characters talk. You make them move. You make them think. And that's what I did in my second telling of Little Red Riding Hood. That is storytelling. And when we're writing fairy tales, that's what we're going to do. We are going to storytell, not just retell. So your job today is to storytell the story of the three little pigs. So you have to think about that story. And we, I don't want you to just say, once upon a time there were three little pigs, and the first one built this house of straw, and then the next one, not like that. I want you to really get into it. I want you to really tell it, story tell it, add the talking, add the thinking, add the movement, spice it up with spicy details, describe the way things looked or sounded, describe all of that. And on your seesaw assignment, you're going to make a recording of yourself storytelling, not retelling, but storytelling the story of the three little pigs. Go ahead, spice it up and unfreeze those characters. Can't wait to see it.